Okay, so here's the burner, um, or sorry, here's the range um, opened up. And the burner element we're going to be testing is this front right one right here. And you can tell it's all messed up. So this is what it looks like underneath. Okay, this is, uh, draws about 240 volts, 1400 watts. You can look underneath, find that information right on the element. And um, I'm going to kind of see if I can prop this so where you can see. Okay, so the contacts that we're interested in testing are these two right here. So these two contacts um, or terminals are going to be leading to the uh, hot surface indicator light right here. And all of the infinity switches on all these burners have these two terminals. You can tell which ones go to the hot surface light um, because these are the smallest terminals side by side or they're always going to be on uh, 1B and 2B that you can see the labels they are kind of ingrained in the, the switch here, 1B and 2B. Or if you can't find them, just look for the smallest terminals right next to each other. These are the big terminals, and they're, you know, they're connected to the actual element itself. So, the way we're gonna do this is, we're gonna remove one of these. Okay, set it to the side there. and turn on your multimeter, set it to ohms, ohms or, or continuity. I'm gonna set mine to continuity. And what we're looking for is to see if the switch has continuity, okay? If you're set to ohms, you're looking to see if it has an ohm reading. The way these switches are set up is to where they should be normally open. Okay, when the, when the element is off, there's no heat. The switch is gonna be open, okay? So that means that light is not gonna be turned on. When you turn on the element, it starts to get hot. This switch closes and sends uh, electricity to the hot surface light, indicating that it's on. So if I test this, I should get either an open load reading on the ohm meter or no beeping sound if you're testing through continuity. So I'm testing with continuity. I should get no beep when I touch my contact. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I just got a beep indicating that this switch is closed even though I don't have uh, electricity or heat going to the element which tells me that this switch is stuck. It's got, it, the, the contacts inside the actual switch have uh, fused together. So this is, this is the bad switch. Now, um, if I move over and test this guy, this is a good switch, okay? These are the two small terminals, okay? Leading to the hot surface uh, light. This should be normally open, just like that one should be. So when I test this, I get nothing. No sound, open load, okay? That's what it should be. Um, so on this one, verifying that we get continuity, which is, which is bad, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna replace this entire element because on some, you can replace just the switch here, but on this one and most of the time, you're just gonna have to replace the whole element. So um, that's how you figure it out. That's how you troubleshoot your uh, infinity switch or troubleshoot a hot surface light indicator that is stuck on.